All right, we're gonna talk about how a baseball swing can actually help your golf game. Let's go and get started. All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how a baseball bat can actually really help your golf swing, how it's gonna help you to get more lag, to release the club out in front, and to even get the club in the slot. We're really gonna focus on how to do that so that you can really start to compress that golf ball and hit some solid shots. Now, the reason I have a baseball bat is because usually when I ask players to just stand up, we can swing it with a baseball bat, we swing it with a golf club, just stand up and make some swings kind of level with the ground. Everybody just naturally starts to let that bat kind of lag here. I very rarely see anybody that kind of casts the bat out this way, like maybe we would in a golf swing if we're struggling with casting the club. We all just instinctively let that bat lag and then we release that on out in front. That's like the lag and straight line release. So this point in the swing would be when I'm just coming down in my downswing. When I'm releasing the club out in front or releasing the bat out in front, you'll see tons of major league pitcher, or hitters kind of stuck in this position here. That's a straight line release. We're taking this angle and we're letting it fly on out in front. Same thing happens in the golf swing. We're even gonna talk about how when we match up this baseball bat with our forearm, if we were to drop that down into the golf swing, now all of a sudden we've got that coming down into the slot, that club tracing down that forearm like we all wanna have. So baseball swing, a great way to develop it in your golf swing, all we're doing is we're taking this level with the ground swing and we're bringing it down at about a 45 degree angle and now you're, you're essentially doing the same thing in a golf swing. So let's grab a golf club here and let's talk about how I'd want you to do this drill. So the first thing we're gonna talk about here is the only difference between a baseball swing and a golf swing is a golf swing is a little lower. So when you're doing your, your golf swing, we're over the right shoulder in the back swing like this. As we come down, we're more waist high. So if you look at my forearm here and you look at this golf club, see how they're about the same height. And then when I release, I'm releasing out in front and then I'm over my shoulder as I'm coming on through. That's what's gonna get you in the slot. So let's start out by making some swings where you just take it over your right shoulder with the golf club. We're gonna swing level with the ground and then you're gonna to come to here and you're gonna be level with the ground, level with your forearm, and that club is really gonna lag. If I was to turn down, that would be in the slot, and that would be really, really lagging the club. So again, if I go from this angle, piece checkpoint number one, I'm gonna let that club kind of drop down waist high. The club shaft and my right forearm are matching each other, and I really have a ton of lag. Looking at it from this angle, a lot of lag. If I look at it from this angle, I'm doing that same thing. I'm checking it here. And then as I bend forward, now you'll see this club is rolling right down my forearm like we see with the pros. We talk about that a lot in the move section, how to shallow out that club and get it on that forearm. This is the same thing. We're just coming at it a different way, different direction. So that's the first piece. Let's go over your shoulder like you're loading up. Piece number one, a lot of lag, club lower, matching the forearm. Piece number two, we're gonna go ahead and let that release, which would be the straight line release. I've taken all these angles and I've let them go. I'm swinging on this same plane the entire downswing. So it's just like a baseball swing, just a little lower, and then boom, I'm letting that release on out in front. If I tilt that forward now, let's imagine this is my golf ball. Here's piece number one, that we're here. Piece number two, I'm letting that release out in front, just like a golf swing. And then the final piece here, got our lag, got our release. Then we're just gonna go ahead and come on up over our shoulder again to finish. So we're starting over our shoulder, letting that lag on our forearm, that gets us in the slot. That gets us tons of lag as we're coming down. Third, second piece, we're gonna release that out in front to the straight line release, all those angles are gone. We're swinging on that same plane. So if this club is releasing, it's releasing 45 out in front and it's on that same level ground. So we're swinging parallel with the ground. All we're doing now is we're tilting that in front of our body. And then finally, you're gonna come around to get that finish. So do about 20 or 30 reps with those checkpoints. Pause in piece number one, make sure that's good. Go to piece number two, let your hips swivel, let your body momentum continue on around. That's piece number two. And then piece number three, we're up on our front leg all the way around. Do about 20 or 30, just pausing, checking those positions. Then I want you to go ahead, do them a little bit faster, just like that. We're just doing a baseball swing, but lower. And then finally, once we get comfortable with that, let's tilt forward and let's make that a golf swing. You're ready to go out to the driving range, have that same type of a feeling. We're gonna be in the slot, we're gonna be releasing the club, we're gonna be bombing the driver. 
All right, guys, hit them well. I'll see you soon. All right, guys, hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got an awesome bonus for you. Now, we talked about how with that baseball swing, we can shallow that club out and get it into the slot. One of the easiest things to make this happen is to square up the golf club face early. I got an awesome drill for you called the tennis racket drill. I'm gonna play a preview of that in just one second. Go ahead and click the I card. You'll get instant access to that video, plus free five free videos from our top speed golf system. Best of luck and I'll see you in the tennis video. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane, as I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm going to be rotating my hands.